Hi, my name is John. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, Charles P. McKeague. Uh, he's a pretty bright guy, uh, Professor McKeague, that is. Uh, trigonometry, fourth edition, is usually reserved for Ventura High School honor students, uh, or ninth grade, that is, or eleventh grade uh, college prep trigonometry course. Uh, but anyways, we're going to be doing some of these problems um, on Chapter 2 test, which is on page uh, 113. Uh, you can also Excuse me, 113. You can also do chapter, I mean, sorry, I believe the fifth edition and the sixth editions are pretty similar in chapter two. So uh, we're going to be doing a lot of these even problems. I believe the chapter two tests or the chapter tests should be somewhat uh, very similar in nature. Uh, for number two, it says uh, B is equal to three, C is equal to six, and, then and they want you to find the sine of angle A cosine of angle A, tangent of angle A, sine of angle B, cosine of angle B, and the tangent of angle B. And so, uh, there's a, it's a right triangle, obviously, and you always label the uh, big letter C uh, with the right angle, and little c is right there. Of course, if you want to label this A, that's little a right here. If you want to label this big B, little b is always opposite there, that. So they give you little b is 3, and c is equal to 6. Obviously, you're going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem to try to figure that out. So a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So a squared, you don't know what that is, plus b squared, which is 9, is equal to c squared, which is 36. Subtract 9, excuse me. So a squared is equal to 36 minus 9 is 27. Um, 36, 26, 27. So A is equal to um, 3 radical 3, or square root of 27. You want to simplify that. It's going to be the same thing as square root of 9 times 3, which is the same thing as square root of 9 times square root of 3, which is 3 radical 3. Okay? You should get that by now. So, that's equal to 3 radical 3. And the sine of that angle is always opposite over hypotenuse. We learned about that. It's going to be 3 radical 3 over 6, which is reduce it to root 3 over 2. And the approximate value for that is approximately 0.866, because I memorized it. Cosine of the angle is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, 3 over 6, which is equal to 1 half. Tangent of the angle is opposite over adjacent, 3 root 3 over 3, divide by 3. It's approximately, not approximately, it's equal to root 3 because the 3's cancel. Root 3 is approximately 1.732050808. Approximately. Okay? The sign of the angle B right there is the opposite over hypotenuse. It's going to be 3 over 6, which is 1 half. The cosine of the angle is going to be op adjacent over hypotenuse. 3 root 3 over 6 is going to be. Uh, the 6 and the 3 cancels, root 3 over 2. And that's our answer. And tension is opposite or adjacent. It's going to be uh, 3 divided by 3 root 3. Cancel that out. It's going to be root 3. Uh, 1 over root 3 is the same thing as root 3 over 3. Remember, root uh, 1 divided by radical 3, to rationalize the denominator, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by root 3 over root 3. Okay? Make sure you can do these by yourself. Okay? Uh, number four is probably going to be the same type of problem, so we're going to keep it at that. Um, let's do number six, right over here. This is a secant of what is equal to the cosecant of 73 degrees. Uh, the secant and the cosecant. Co, S-E-C-A-N-T. Co, right here. Most teachers don't know what that means, by the way. Co, what does the word co mean? Uh, co functions, what are co functions? I had, I had an epiphany. The epiphany was, it stands for complementary function. So if the co stands for complementary, therefore the complementary of 73 degrees is going to be 90 minus, 70, 90, 90 minus 73 degrees, it's going to be 17 degrees, okay? That was pretty easy. Don't forget, the word co means complementary. Number eight, I want the tangent of 45 degrees plus the cotangent of 45 degrees, and I want to figure out what that is. I'm going to draw a right triangle. Here it is right here. Let's call this 1, 1, root 2. It doesn't matter just as long as you use a 45, 45, 90. It could be 5, 5, 5, root 2. It doesn't really matter. So don't forget, on the 45, 45, 90, it's x, 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 root 2. 
So the tangent of 45 is the opposite of adjacent, which is 1 plus its cotangent. Uh, it's the uh, reciprocal function. You flip it around. So it's instead of opposite over adjacent, it's going to be adjacent over opposite, which is still 1 equals 2. That was so easy. Uh, number 10, I want you to figure out 1 over the secant of 30 degrees. Figure out what that is. Uh, that's the same thing as the cosine of 30 degrees, right? Because these are secant and the cosine are reciprocal functions. If you want to draw a triangle with the 30 degree mark right over there, it's going to be 1, it's going to be 2, it's going to be root 3. Um, the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. Or what I could have done was uh, take the secant, which is 2 over root 3, 1 divided by 2 over root 3. It's going to be the same thing as 1 times root 3 over 2. I uh, get the same answer. Okay. I know I'm going a little bit fast on you guys, so I want you to try to, after you stopped it out, digest the information and try to work it out again. Uh, and repeat it once or twice before you take the actual test. Okay. Uh, so let's do number 12 now. Number 12 says... Subtract 15 degrees, 32 minutes from 25 degrees, 15 minutes. From means starting, right? No, that's your starting point. So uh, starting at 25 degrees, 15 minutes, and you subtract 15 degrees and 32 minutes. Of course, 15 minus 32, you can't do that. So you have to borrow 1 degree, which is 24 right here, and add 60 minutes to that. It's going to be 75 minutes. So 75 minutes minus 32 is going to be 7 minus 3 is going to be 4. 5 minus 3 is going to be 2. Uh, 5 minus 2 is going to be 3. 43 minutes. 24 minus 15 is going to be 9 degrees. And 43 minutes. Okay. Don't forget, uh, if I'm going too fast for you guys, just let me. I, I need to slow down too because I do make mistakes as I go about 3. I'm currently going about 3 times my regular speed or twice my re regular speed. 25 degrees, 15 minutes. From 25 degrees, 30 minutes, 15 minutes and subtract 15 degrees 32 minutes, of course you have to borrow that um, 60 minutes right there. 1 degree is 60 minutes, so 60 plus 15 is 75. Okay, And of course 75 minus 32 is going to be 5 minus 2 is 3, 7 minus 3 is 4, and then 24 minus 15 is going to be 9 degrees, 43 minutes. That was number 12. Uh, convert 2 degrees in minutes, so on number 14 right here, 16.45 uh, degrees. How do you change that into minutes? Obviously, it's going to be 16 minutes plus 40.45 degrees. That makes perfect sense. So how do you change that into minutes? You just take this and multiply it by 60. Right there, 60 minutes in an hour. I'm sorry, 60 minutes in a degree. Okay, same thing, 16 degrees. Plus, I'm going to take my calculator. 0.45 times 60 is going to be 27 minutes. So every time you're trying to find change decimal form into minutes right here, just Take this number, the 0.45, and you mul always multiply by 60 to convert it into minutes. Okay? That was number 14. Number 16, let's try this out right here. 16, 79 degrees, and then 30 minutes. Okay? To convert minutes into decimal form, just take 79 degrees plus, you do the opposite. It's going to be 30 divided by 60 this time. Of course, it's going to be 1 half or 0.5. So it's going to be 79.5 degrees. And that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Half a, half a degree or 0.5 degree is going to be 30 minutes. Remember, there are uh, 60 minutes in one hour. No, one degree. Okay. Hopefully it helped. Uh, make sure you can convert from DMS, degrees, minutes, to uh, decimal. Uh, pretty soon you'll have to do DMS to decimal as well. Okay. The degrees, minutes, seconds into decimals, decimals to DMS, back and forth. And there is a program in your calculator that does do that for you, but I'm not going to show you where it is. Sorry. Number um, 18 is pretty simple. Number 20 is difficult. Let's see number 20. Find the cotangent of 71 degrees and 20 minutes. Okay? So, uh, there's no cotangent function on your calculator. Make sure the first thing you want to do is you want to go into mode in your calculator. Uh, remember the standard is the TI-84+. plus. I like the silver edition right over here. Uh, I should get a different skin on, on my calculator. I like that. Uh, but anyways, go into mode right over here. The second, uh, first row, second column. And you want to make sure that you're in degree. I work with uh, make sure in the right mood. 
when she gives trigonometry, you're going to go radiance to degrees, degrees to radiance. In chapter 3, make sure you get into the right mood. I'm sorry, mode. It's a uh, first row, second column. Okay, so there it is right there. So we're in the degree mode. And of course, to convert this, 71 degrees 20 minutes into decimal form is 71. Um, and then 20 over 60 this time. Cancel that out. It's equal to uh, degrees. 71.26 is one third. It's going to be 0.3 bar degrees. Okay. And so, how are you going to change that? Uh, we know that we don't. There's no cotangent function key on your calculator, so it's going to be one over the tangent of 71.3 degrees. Okay. And I'm going to work that out. One divided by the tangent of 71. Excuse me, 71.333. And there it is. It comes out 0.3378. Approximately 0.3378. That's your final answer, okay? Good luck on your test. Uh, we're about halfway done, approximately. Number 24, 22. Uh, 22 is a pretty decent problem, so I'm going to actually do number 22. Uh, it says the secant of the angle is equal to 1.923. Well, there is no secant function, uh, a secant key on your calculator. So what you have to do is convert this into sines, cosines, or tangents. And we know that the secant function is one of the cosine. It's a reciprocal of the cosine function. It's equal to 1.923. We flip the left side, flip the right side. It's going to be the um, cosine of theta. Over one, we really don't not need that. It's equal to one over 1.923. How to find the angle of theta? Take the cosine inverse of that, right? So make sure you write mood or the mode right here. I'm going to take the cosine inverse of one divided by 1.923. And it's going to be approximately 58.7 degrees. Okay? And so if I take the, uh, to check my work, I just go 1 divided by uh, the cosine of the answer key, right over here. If I take the 1 divided by cosine, that's the secant function of the answer, I should get exactly 1.923, and I do 1.923. I don't know if you can see that or not, but trust me, well, so far. Got to give, give and take. Trust is a give and take. Uh, we're not going to do 24, uh, 26, I'm not going to do number 20. Ah, uh, let's do 26. Uh, 0 0.0028, I want to see how many significant digits it is. We don't count the numbers in front, we just count these two right here. It's going to be two significant figures. If I go 0 0.00208, I have to count all three, it's three significant figures. If I go 1.02, I have to count all three, three significant figures. 120, I only count these two, it's going to be two significant figures. Okay, so it should give you a lot of help on how to do these. You're going to have to know how to do significant figures in chemistry next year anyways, and you're going to learn about uh, them, so make sure you uh, understand what significant figures are. Number 28. It says, uh, the following problem refers to right triangle ABC. In each case, find all missing parts. I'm going to start off on 28 for you a little bit. Okay. I'm not going to actually do it. I'm just going to start you off. Okay. Here's ang angle A, angle B. Of course, angle C is always the 90 degree angle. That's how we label it. A, uh, little a is 24.3. That's little a. It's always opposite the angle. Uh, little c is 